You've directed uh, the new movie Money Monster. Yes. Uh, it's a thriller, and it's set against the backdrop of technology and finance, uh, the financial world. And I got to watch the movie today, and I really enjoyed it. Thank you. And I'm curious. It's funny because the movie is about so many things, but ultimately, in your opinion, it's really about people. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it is a very complicated, very intelligent movie. You, you definitely have to pay attention while you're watching the film, but it also happens to be kind of a general public movie that's thrilling and exciting and all that stuff. It's really a ride. You know, what's interesting, too, is it's about so much that we're talking about right now, which is because the George Clooney is the star, and he plays kind of that Jim Cramer guy on television who is telling you about, you know, this is the stock to buy, this is the stock to dump, and he's yeah. very... But he's a showman. And you know, showman. he has dancing girls, and he, you know, makes a fool of himself and has props and buzzers and things like that, and he's sort of lost himself. He's sort of lost himself, and he's confronted by somebody, and again, I don't want to give away too much, but he's confronted by somebody who's really been ruined by this world. Right, yes. And it's that's where... Every man. That's where there's this confrontation, and there's this standoff, and that's where the story really starts, and it's very compelling. And to, to what I thought was the actually the most interesting thing about it was that you get Clooney, and you get him to see him being silly and sort of clownish, right. but also, of course, obviously he's a great actor, and then you get to see him play these other layers. Yeah, he really changes through the course of the movie. I think he's forced to come to grips with his own shameful failures. And um, he's, uh, he, he really changes. He becomes a human being by the end of the movie, which is his heroism. The what other now? great hero in the movie is Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. Plays his producer, director, who kind of produces her, his survival. What's interesting is that she's the producer, so she's talking to him. She's in his Here's ear it. for the whole time. So the whole time that he's taken hostage and going through this incredible situation, Julia Roberts is in his ear the whole time. Yes. Which is a great dynamic. It is a funny thing, you know, in this era, we have this kind of weird virtual intimacy. And, you know, through computers and telephones and all of that, we feel closer to people when we're watching them on TV than we do when we're standing in the same room. And that's very true of the film. I have, I constantly am meeting people that, act as if we're, they know me. I'm very friendly in person, but they, they really do. And it's, if, I think if I was in movies, they wouldn't act that way. I think it's very different. When you see people in movies, they're projected in this big way. But when people are in your room, in your bedroom, and sometimes I really am in their bedroom. Yes, um, you are. Uh, but um, they, they come up and they just hug, and there's, they're there right away. Yeah, and the film explores that in lots of ways, visually as well. You know, the proportions are all wrong. Mm -hmm. We see a, a TV set, you know, in Times Square, a jumbotron, and it's the size of a giant building. And, you know, th that weird proportion that we have, this relationship that we have with television. Uh, we have, uh, you, you got George Clooney to dance in this movie, was that I, difficult? He's the one who wanted to do the dancing. He keeps blaming it on me. He's blaming it on you, he but is. he was the one that, I think we had He was like, oh no, I didn't try. I didn't do any choreography There it is. I didn't try at all. I just, you know, was just making a fool of myself. But I, I think there was some, there was There's some an, mirror there, time going there, on. There's some, yeah, he wanted this. <laughs> he wanted it. He wanted this for himself because he might be exploring other options someday right. in his career. That's right. The movie opens, uh, uh, one of the first scenes is, I think one of the first times you see George Clooney, he's sitting on a toilet. Yes, that was, is pretty much the first time you see George Clooney in the movie. Was that the first scene that you directed? One of the that was the first day, the first scene, yes. What that is that the... like? Is that, is that a complicated... <laughs> Do you have to talk George Clooney into your, your pants are going to be down and you're on a toilet yeah. and you're on your smartphone? I know you're a big yeah. Hollywood yeah. icon, but this is what's going to happen. Yeah, there was a little boxers to the right, you know, move your ankle. There was a little bit of that. First day of cheating. From you for no reason. You were just messing yeah, with him. Just messing with him. <laughs> <laughs> no pushback on that. No, All I right. think he loved it. I think he did love it.